Welcome learners, how are you all today? I hope you all are fine and healthy. Remember last time I gave you homework to write some lines about your teacher. You could have asked any question and I have a letter with me where you have asked me so many questions. Let me just read them out. You have asked me questions like where do I live? Do I wash my clothes? Do my dishes? Have I ever worn a jeans or pyjama? Was I ever a kid? Which is my favorite color? Do I like colors? Is there any favorite? There is also a question where a student asked me, was I a good student? And many more. Do I like watching TV? Do I like to play? There are so many questions like this. So today I have decided that we will study a poem where a kid or a child like you people have asked or wonders so many things about his teacher. So let us read the poem. The poem Where Do All the Teachers Go speaks about a child's love and curiosity for his or her teacher. For children, teachers are so special that they can't imagine them as ordinary people. The poem Where Do All the Teachers Go is written by Peter Dixon. Peter Dixon is a poet, performer and an artist. He grew up in London. He accepts being a rather naughty boy whose schooling was far from successful. Having failed at spelling and understanding of word, form and grammar, he tended to write secretly at home. Drawing and writing of things largely ignored by schools. Many of Peter's paintings draw upon childhood experiences and have developed a cult following with a number of galleries in London and the south of England, showcasing his distinctive work on a regular basis. The poem Where Do All the Teachers Go? Students, let us first recite the poem Where Do All the Teachers Go? When it's four o'clock, do they live in houses and do they wash their socks? Do they wear pajamas and do they watch TV and do they pick their noses the same as you and me? Do they live with other people? Have they mums and dads? And were they ever children? And were they ever bad? Did they ever never spell right? Did they ever make mistakes? Were they punished in the corner? If they pinched the chocolate flakes? Did they ever lose their Heim books? Did they ever leave their greens? Did they scribble on the desk tops? Did they wear old dirty jeans? I will follow one back home today. I will find out what they do, then I will put it in a poem that they can read to you. In the poem, the child poet wonders what his teachers are like. It is difficult for him to think that his teachers are ordinary persons living like common people. So he wonders where the teachers go 
at 4 o'clock after the school? Do they live in ordinary houses doing the petty jobs like washing and cleaning? Where do all the teachers go when it is 4 o'clock? Do they live in houses and do they wash their socks? The child wonders and question where all the teachers go after the school hours. When it is 4 o'clock, he wants to know if they like ordinary people go back to their houses and wash their socks. Do they follow a routine like ordinary people? Do they wear pajamas and do they watch TV and do they pick their noses the same as you and me. Here the child wants to know if teacher also wear clothes like pajamas and watch TV like them. Do they also clean their noses the way other people do and waste their time? Do they live with other people? Have they mums and dads? And were they ever children? And were they ever bad? Further, the child wonders by asking if they are also surrounded by people, if they live with other people, if they are also parents or have parents and children like us to live with. Did they commit any mistakes or did anything wrong when they were children? Did they ever never spell right? Did they ever make mistakes? Were they punished in the corner if they pinched the chocolate flakes? The tender mind is also bothered and wants to know if they also made mistakes or were punished for eating chocolates in class or did anything silly or naughty in classroom. Did they ever lose their Heim books? Did they ever leave their greens? Did they scribble on the desk tops? Did they wear old dirty jeans? Now the child poet wants to know if their teachers also lost their religious books and said no to green vegetables. Did they also waste time by scribbling on tables and wear torn and old jeans? I will follow one back home today. I will find out what they do. Then I will put it in a poem that they can read to you. To overcome his curiosity, the child decides to follow or spy his teacher on his way home after school. Once he is clear about everything, he would like to compose or write a poem about it and thinks that the teacher would read that poem to his students. So learners, you saw that the poet had lots of questions and have a lot of curiosity about teachers. He has asked so many questions. He wonders a lot of things about teachers. He feels that teachers are born like no ordinary children and they were never bad. He wonders if they ever had made any mistake or made any mistakes in spelling were they ever punished? The teachers to him seem to be very perfect. The child thinks that perhaps these teachers never lost their books as he does or wore unclean clothes like some other children. He intends to follow one of his teachers. One day when the teachers go home and find out the truth, he will then write a poem which the teacher himself will read out to other children in the classroom and will explain the entire mystery about teachers. Learners, 
let us answer some questions from the poem. Our first question is, why does the poet want to know where the teachers go at 4 o'clock? Think students, why does he want to know? For the poet, teachers are special or extraordinary human beings. Hence, the poet wants to know where the teachers go after 4 o'clock and what they do after school. So, in the poem, the poet wonders what do the teachers do after 4 o'clock. Why does he wonder? He wonders because for him, teachers are not ordinary people like him, but extraordinary and therefore, he wants to know more about teachers. Our second question is, what are the things normal people do that the poet talks about? Think, what are the normal things that you have read in the poem? Right, according to the poet, normal people live in houses, wash socks, wear pajamas, watch TV, pick their noses, live with their parents, make spelling mistakes, be bad, make mistakes, get punished, lose books, scribble on desk, wear old dirty jeans, etc. So, in the poem, the poet has mentioned a lot of activities that according to him normal people do. For example, they live in houses, they wash their socks, they wear pajamas, they watch TV, they pick their noses and they live with their parents. They also make spelling mistakes. They are bad, they make mistakes and therefore get punished. They lose books, they also scribble on their desk, they wear old dirty jeans and many more. Now, the third question asks, what does he, the poet here, okay, what does he imagine about? So, he here refers to the poet, okay, what does he imagine about? First, where teachers live. So, what does the poet imagine the teacher might live? Come on, think. Yes, in houses. So, the poet imagines that the teacher live in houses. He is not sure about it. Therefore, in the poem he says that he will follow one home and will write a poem about it. Okay. Second, what does he imagine about? What they do at home. They here refers to teachers. So, what teachers do at home? Think what they might do at home. What is our poet imagining? They, the teachers, okay. They wash their socks, wore pajamas, picked their noses and watched TV. So, these are the activities that the poet imagined teachers do at home. They washed their socks, wore pajamas, picked their noses and watched TV. Third, what does he imagine about the people with whom they live? Now, what does our poet imagine the teachers live with? Yes teachers lived with their parents and other family members. What does he imagine about their activities when they were children in school? Think, the poet imagines that when teachers were in school, they were also bad, made mistakes, 
never spelled right and were punished in the corner for eating chocolates in class lost their hymn books scribbled on the desk and wore old dirty jeans etc next question is why does the poet wonder if teachers also do things that other people do so why is our poet wondering whether teachers are like ordinary people they do ordinary things like other or not think why is he wondering such things the poet wonders if teachers also do things that other people do because he thinks they are not ordinary human beings and therefore they are not like other people teachers are strict do not make mistakes and punish those who did so why does he wonder if teachers do things that other people do because for him teachers are not like any ordinary human being teachers are not like them they are very strict they are idle beings they do not make any mistakes and punish people who make mistakes or are naughty our next question is how does the poet plan to find out find out what find out what teachers do after school and what will he do once he finds out the poet plans to follow one of the teachers on the way back home that day to find out what they did once he succeeds in doing so he would compose it into a poem which then the teachers will read to their students so his plan is to follow one of the teachers back home and find out what their lives are and then he would write a poem about it which the teachers will read out to their own respective students question number 2 what do you think these phrases from the poem mean you have to guess the meaning of the phrases given below first phrase is punished in the corner punished in the corner means getting caught for a misdeed in the class and made to stand in the corner of the classroom as a punishment I am sure that most of you must have been punished in the corner. You all might have made a mistake in the classroom and punished in the corner. So standing in a corner for as a punishment is what the phrase means punished in the corner. Leave their greens. Leave their greens means to leave the green vegetables in the plate. or refuse to eat green vegetables when you people during your dinner lunch or breakfast refuse to eat green vegetables in your plate that is what the phrase means leave their greens so learners i hope you enjoyed the poem the poem is about your teachers and specially what you feel about them What are your questions about your teachers? I hope you will also try and ask these questions to your teachers and find out what do they do after school and what are their lives like. As your homework, I want you all to answer the question that the poet has asked. He has wondered a lot of things about teachers' life. I want you to write answers to them. You have to write a letter. back to the poet answering all his curiosity and question i hope you have enjoyed this class till next time please take good care of yourself thank you